శ్రీ సాయిరామ్ దట్ డే శ్రీ సత్య సాయి ప్రైమరీ స్కూల్ చిల్డ్రన్ అరేంజ్ ఏ ప్రోగ్రామ్ వేర్ ఆల్ ది టీచర్స్ ఆఫ్ భగవాన్ శ్రీ సత్య సాయి బాబా హూ ఆర్ ఇన్ హెవెన్ దే హ్యావ్ కమ్ డౌన్ టు అర్త్ అండ్ ఆల్ టీచర్స్ ఆఫ్ భగవాన్ శ్రీ సత్య సాయి బాబా మెక్ అట్ వన్ ప్లేస్ అండ్ ఈచ్ వన్ షేర్ experiences with baba and they were all teachers of baba mind you and they all assembled here they all have come down from heaven and all the way they reached earth earth and now they are exchanging their views this is the way how primary school children presented well all these years they were in heaven and said that they were bored with heaven there they wanted to come back and spend time with their beloved student sri satsai baba they were in turn exchanging their impressions reminiscing about the past recalling their experiences with him during his childhood days telling about the three places where baba studied bokapatnam kamalapuram and Uravakanda. As you know, the outstanding famous teachers were Mahabub Khan, Subhanachari, Tamirazu, Manchirazu and Kondappa. Because Swami repeatedly mentions these names, they are very familiar to Sai devotees. From the beginning, they were convinced of His divinity. They knew well that Baba was Bhagawan Himself. while others could not know for that reason we have heard these great names from swami number of times as i already said every teacher had his own experience as today i told you mahbub khan's experience it was mahbub khan who asked his colleague to let baba sit down so the teacher could free himself from the chair to which he got himself stuck as a punishment the teacher asked baba to stand on a bench when swami stood there this man could not come out of his chair mahabub khan said to his colleague tell him to sit then he will be released from the chair then another teacher subhanachari shared his experience with colleagues how can i forget such a how well he influenced our family the experience we had in his company was innumerable it is impossible to forget him subhanachari said one day i wanted to cane baba sanchai baba so i told him to spread out his palm what did i see on his palm the picture of shirdi sai baba i could not cane him any more i experienced experience sai baba divinity he said Then it was Tamirazu turn, another teacher of Sat Sai Baba. He shared his experience. Tamirazu said, How can I forget our old days? My son brought home 20,000 rupees. We lived in a small house in a village. It would be a problem to see that the money was not stolen. Then Tamirazu said, Believe me, throughout the night, Baba served everything. as a watchman that the money was safe with us baba did, did everything for our family and he removed all our difficulties therefore i want to see him again so i have come down from heaven then the teacher mahabu khan identified another man from heaven by the name mohin mohiddin mohiddin happened to be a classmate of sri satsai baba he too had passed away long time back when baba's teachers made a holiday trip to earth he wanted to join them now mahabub khan asked mohiniddin could you share with us your experiences with baba what made you decide to come here today we thought that you are comfortable there in heaven why did you come down he said no 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 without such a heaven is boring i do have come down 
to see him once again. Then Tamirazu and Mehbub Khan, along with other teachers, asked Mohinuddin, "Would you please tell us how you were influenced by Baba?" Mohinuddin started to speak. Unfortunately, I became a victim to drugs, mafia. I got addicted to morphine, morphine injections. Without this morphine injection, I could not work. I became a slave to this bad habit. Somebody asked, "Can't you give up this bad habit?" He said, "I wanted, I wanted to, but I could not. Without that morphine injection, I could not be active." So I could not discharge my duties. Then someone else said, "All right, there is one such Sai Baba. He will be able to cure you." So Muhyiddin came to such Sai Baba. He recognized his old classmate. Oh, such a! You remember that we were classmates. People say that you are God and that you cure any kind of disease. Would you be able to cure me from this bad habit? of taking morphine injections i am a morphine addict baba said don't worry i help you just stop taking morphine from now on from now on he made a promise to baba that he would not take another morphine injection one day passed the second day he was feeling pain that day he wanted to have another dose of injection at that point At, at that point, what happened was, yes. And then at that point, Mohinder is coming. Yes, I'm sorry. One second. Yes. Oh, Sacha. I made you promise. How can I take the dose now? But I am not able to bear the pain. At that point, one of his friends came and said, "Look here, Mohinuddin, I have an extra packet of morphine. Would you like to have it?" Mohinuddin said, "I am sorry. I already made a promise to Baba that I would not take it. I don't need it." He waited throughout that day. The next day was even more painful. He prayed to Baba, "Please cure me from this bad habit." The third night, I had a very nice sleep. After that, I never had any desire to go to these drugs again. This is what Muhini Din said about Swami saving him from this drugs. It is Sai energy, the divine, which will free us from all our bad habits. That's how I was influenced," said Mohinder, who was Baba's classmate. Now comes all the teachers: Tamil Raju, Mehbub Khan, and Manchi Raju. All these teachers come there, and then they start looking at the students seated there. And then he asks, he asks one of the students, "Yes, where do you come from?" And the student gets up and says, "Sir, I am from Philippines." And then Kamilaz asks another boy, "Where do you come from?" "I am from Singapore." Subhan Acharya asks another boy, "Where do you come from?" "I am from Dubai." And Abu Khan asks some other student, "Where are you from?" "I am from Darjeeling." Manchi Raju asks another man, another boy, "Where do you come from?" "I am from United States of America." All the teachers started wondering. After all, our boy is Satya. Today could attract students from all over the world. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that interesting? So, having called all boys from all corners of the world, he must be sitting somewhere. 
let us find out where he is because we have come from heaven all the way to see him we should see him where he is and then he asks tamiraz asks one boy from america a hey boy why have you come here from america what do you get it here that boy random boy jeffrey that boy gets up and says sir i have come from america because here veda chanting i could learn it is not possible to learn it elsewhere this is the past this is the place where i could know something of indian culture and practice to some extent possible this is the place where human values are stressed upon therefore i have decided and declare now what is not found in india is not found anywhere in the world that's what this boy from america said and then another question from mahbub khan he asked this boy jeffrey from america would you please recite from veda verses let us hear this boy started uh, reciting shloka freely and all the teachers are wonder struck how satya of those days is a grown up boy and grown up man now attracting from boys from all over the world making them chant in veda which is undreamt and then nebu khan says is this not the golden age that baba was speaking to us long back all of the teachers say yes this is the golden age and then the one of the teachers asks one boy boy what made you come here and join swami school you have come here from far off place from a long distance thousands of miles what made you come here why are you drawn here and the student answers like this sir i am influenced by my teacher my teacher made me to come here my teacher suggested that i should have my studies here in prashantalayam you know sir what happened my teacher husband suffered from a paralytic attack and uh, he was under treatment but there was no cure but he heard of sat sai baba and he heard of super special hospital but my teacher husband had no faith in sat sai baba what to do but somehow my teacher persuaded him to come to putavarti and he had darshan of baba but he could not get interview but baba gave him vibhuti asked him to take for 3 months and this man had no belief in swami but swami appeared in the dream why don't you follow my command come on take this vibhuti for 3 months you will be cured of paralysis problem so his teacher's husband started taking small small doses of vibhuti for 71 days and he was totally cured of all paralytic stroke and its effects and that teacher directed me to go over here and that teacher mentioned your name sir and therefore i am here and then another teacher asked some other boy boy you are living far away from your parents don't you miss them the boy says no sir i may be missing one physical mother but swami showers on us the love of thousand mothers so we don't miss him said that boy saying that sai's love is wonderful wonderful then one of the teachers asked another boy a hey boy how are you 
brought here. Would you tell me one incident in your life with Swami? Yes, sir, I'll tell you. One of our friends did his MBA here, Master of Business Administration. After completing his studies, he appeared for an interview. Number of contestants. And they were not called for a long time. They were just waiting there in the lounge, sitting on the sofas for a very, very long time. After three hours or so, they started calling some people and again stopped. This kind of unnecessary waiting irritated everybody and everybody left. But my classmate who did his MBA stayed there. At 4 o'clock in the evening he gets a call. Boy, come here. He goes inside. And the managing director tells him, you are appointed now. You go. Sir, how do you appoint me? You have not interviewed me. You have not put any questions to me. How do you select me? He said, boy, your patience is the enough of criterion for selection. You are the student of Baba's college where patience, perseverance and purity have been emphasized, have been stressed because you could have that long patience to wait until you are called is the very reason why you are selected for this job. These experience are one of the students who said. And then one of the students say, Sir, please note that we are from different places and understand that such a Sai Baba God transformed our lives. The kind of love that you showered upon us is most invaluable in life. We had a wonderful experience. And one friend got up and said, Let me tell you, sir, my own experience. We had one student and we had a problem. And that problem happened to be pimples on the face. And Baba called him, what are they? Swami pimples. Are they paining? Yes. Don't worry, I'll give Vibhuti. And Vibhuti he applied. And in three days, all pimples gone. And the boy says, my skin is smooth today. It is because of Bhagwan's Vibhuti. So that made me hold on to him, cling on to him, till now, that's what he said. And then another boy said, Sir, we are very happy to tell you that we stay in the hostel which is ultra modern with so many facilities and the hospital was constructed directly under the supervision of Baba. Big halls, fans, Swami sending food stuff every time. Yes. We have no words to express our thanks to Swami, said that boy. Then, another boy said, Sir, let us tell you how Swami is keen on minute things. One day Swami came to our hostel. He saw some iron rod, iron rod protruding because it was still construction process. So seeing that protruding iron rod, he called the engineer, look here, come on cut it, don't take any risk, my boy stay in the hostel. They run for darshan, as they run, this iron rod may hit them. So cut it immediately, he said, that is concern that Baba has for us. He will view every simple thing from different angles and sees to it that we will not be put to trouble in any way. And so that's love that Bhagawan has for us, said that boy. And then, 
also the teachers were talking among themselves what was put up at in those days and what is put up at today anima unimaginable so many buildings so many constructions how wonderful it is really fulfilling to have been here this day that's what all teachers felt now i was told god opened said sir today the whole country says that satisfy education is the best form of education my friends at this moment the hardest news i am coming conveying to you i am coming straight from the college i have not even gone home you are first to hear from me sri satyasai institute of higher learning swami university is recognized by the university grants commission as the center for excellence the university grants commission is going to fund research projects and under different schemes the ugc is going to sanction 30 crores 30 crores not a small amount only i have come to know this satyasai university is declared as a center for excellence because as you know earlier national assessment and accreditation committee nac adjudged this university as the best basing on that recommendation the university grant commission declares sri university as a center for excellence we are so happy to hear that news which i wanted to share with you the hottest and the latest news bulletin and so the boy says the kind of education we have here really is a true education where the values from within are brought out it is not stuffing information it is the one of transformation the swat that boy said and then our students said sir we are so glad to see the teachers of our god bhagwan sir let us tell you one thing here we have students from all classes of society coming from rich families from poor families from all castes from all states from all countries this is a center where the whole humanity is represented is not meant for a cross section of society it is universal in its approach that's what one boy said and the boy said here our character is molded here we are given a spirit as to take ups and downs humiliation jubilation felicitation they are all received in equal poise they are all received in equanimum equanimity we are not simply elated and we are not frustrated the kind of attitude that baba has developed within us as to take bouquets and brick bats are like the sort that boy said and then yes mabu khan asked one of the students boys will any one of you tell me how his teachings have helped you how baba's teachings have helped you will then any one of you get up and tell me one student got up and said sir why not all teachings of baba helped us but i give you one simple example the boy went on telling like this i am too talkative my friends make fun of me as a chatterbox 
talking endlessly. But one day Baba told me, talk less and work more. If you talk less, your memory power will increase. That's what Baba said. And I was getting very poor marks. And ever since I practiced the Swami's teaching that I should talk less and work more, I started getting 85% and 90% of marks in the examinations. I benefited immediately. Soon after practicing Baba's teachings, said that boy. And then all the teachers have put a volley of questions. Yes, it's true that you are giving wonderful answers. Who taught you all this? How could you develop this equanimity? How could you consider tears of joy and sorrow equal? How can you place, face struggle and strife in life at the same time? Then all of the boys with folded hands said, Sir, it is all because of Sri Sat Sai Baba. And then we have here students from all religions, from all castes, and all the teachers now, they start like searching for Sat Sai Baba in the audience. Where is he? Where is he? Pointing with the finger. Ultimately, all of them turn to Swami sitting on the chair. Here he is. Here he is. Therefore, my friend, this is an idea which is wonderfully conceived by students. Where teachers of Baba from heaven come down in search of him, recall their past association, memories, and telling how they are influenced by Swami and finally finding Him on the dais. This is really, everybody like this program. That brings us to a close of the presentation uh, made by students on 5th March 2004. Now this is the presentation by primary school children last week 14th March 2004, primary school children. I tell you really how uh, they could prepare, how long they have taken, who guided them, well for which we have no answer. All children are busy with examination now. When could they write the script? When could they practice? When did they do the rehearsals? How could they do it so nicely in front of Swami? Is this not enough of proof to believe that Satsai Baba is the inspirer? That Satsai Baba is the motivator? That Satsai Baba is the indweller? That is the guide, producer, actor, director? What not? Therefore students could present such nice programs. The primary school children have put up this program, a very interesting program. It has several episodes. The first one is the story relating to an young boy by name Nachi Keta. N-A-C-H-I-K-E-T-A. Nachi Keta went to his father who was offering all things in charity to many people. He was just offering in charity to everybody. Nasikata came to his father and said, Dad, to whom are you going to give me? <laughs> Out of disgust his father said, I give you to God of death. Yama, Y-A-M-A. Yama is the God of death. The father out of disgust said, I will give it to Yama. That's all. This boy laughed, very good, it's a wonderful gift. Let me go there. He goes to Yama, 
the god of death who was ready to take him in this kingdom and there went on a dialogue between yama and nachiketa nachiketa tells o lord teach me the secret of life yama said no no sir you must tell me then yama says boy don't insist on that i'll grant you three boons yes ask for them first boon granted second boon granted third boon granted sir i want to know the secret of life and secret of death once again so nasiketa was so insisting and persisting to know the secret of life lord yama god of death wanted to divert his attention are boy i give the whole world take care of it no sir i don't want it i want to know the secret of life i give the whole wealth of the world no sir i want to know the secret of life that persistence of nachiketa made him learn the message of life the secret of life from yama the god of death that was enacted in front of swami and swami liked it very much the second episode stage by primary school is this all boy children sat on the ground and they were acting as if it is a, a boat a boat rowing the boat there in the boat the boatman was there and a pandit scholar also was there in the boat the whole thing was enacted children rowing the boat and a scholar and the boatman in the boat you follow me and the boat was speeding ahead this scholar asked the boatman hey boatman what is the time now he said sir i have no watch i don't know any time i go by the sunset and sunrise that's all the scholar said you have no sense of time one third of life is wasted the boatman felt so sorry after some time the pandit asked what is the latest news the boatman said sir i am uneducated i have no news with me it is enough if i earn my daily bread the scholar said you don't know you are not educated you don't know how to read and write two thirds of your life is wasted and the boat was speeding ahead and the scholar said all right boy do you know about god the boatman said sir i have no time to think of god i have no idea and then you don't know your life is fully wasted the remaining one third is also gone so the boat was speeding ahead suddenly clouds appeared and the rain started the boat was tossing on the surface of the water the boatman said sir we are in danger now do you know swimming <laughs> the scholar said i don't know so your life is wasted now because you are going to die you have got the sense of time you know the news you know everything about god but you don't know swimming so you are going to die <laughs> this episode was enacted by boys and swami laughed and laughed like you people this episode tells you that unless you know the fundamental practical things in life there is no use of bookish knowledge there is no use of all the knowledge without knowing the art of life without knowing the art of survival 
this was the episode then they also depicted another episode from the life of adi shankara adi shankara decided to be a bachelor a celibate for lifetime but he being the only son his mother wants him to get married and settle in life but adi shankara wanted to find out an escape out of his mother's wish one day he went to the river and he was taking bath one crocodile caught hold of his foot and dragging his body into the water adi shankara shouted mother i am going to die this crocodile is dragging me into the river the mother started crying oh boy i never thought that we would be dying so soon like this i never thought that crocodile in this river how can i help you my dear son then adi shankara said amma mother you can help me because crocodile is telling me if you don't insist on my marriage if you don't insist that i should get married this crocodile will let me go will set me free and the mother out of agony said it is enough if you live all right i grant your wish and the crocodile released him and adi shankara came out of that the interpretation is the river is life crocodile is the sensual pleasure sensual pleasure the crocodile drawing the feet of adi shankara the seeker and the aspirant into the river of life where he gets drowned ultimately sunk deep with no rescue and recovery so he said mother allow me to be a celibate meaning please see that i am free from worldly chains worldly shackles worldly bondage when mother said the crocodile let him release meaning when we when we choose spiritual life the crocodile of sensual pleasure will not drag us into the water of life that was an episode so nicely enacted by boys children primary school children the third episode is that of baba himself one child was lying on the steps swami said anukumar what is he doing swami i find him sleeping on the step hey wake him up swami is a drama let us see young boy was sleeping in the middle of another boy came and he touched the feet of the small boy and doing namaskar the small boy played the role of satya sai baba the another boy who touched the feet and did namaskar played the role of his grandfather kondamaraju kondamaraju's grandfather knows that satya baba is god so do baba said don't touch my feet but kondamaraju used to touch his feet in the early hours of the morning without the knowledge of the society without the knowledge of the inmates of the house so that he would not be seen by anybody and baba cannot refuse so he touched his feet and you are god tells kondamaraju and when kondamaraju distributed properties to all his children kondamaraju finally said to his sons kondamaraju mind you is the grandfather of that say baba you take all my properties but i'll have as my due share such as say baba with me this episode was enacted in front of swami and they also sang nice songs in front of swami and swami was very much thrilled and they could also recite veda so the presentation by the school children consisted of three episodes one of nachiketa one of adi shankara and one on the life of bhagwan sri satsai baba himself including that boat episode the songs were nice 
the dancers were excellent the action was also superb with that that program comes to an end before i take leave from you let me tell you what happened yesterday morning which i confirmed with swami this morning right you can understand how latest you are <laughs> because the westerners are always latest they don't want to go by the age old information they want to be latest that's why you are getting what you really deserve yesterday you must have noticed swami's car stopped in front of small small boys yesterday you must have noticed swami left sai kolon hall to amar another place before bhajan on inquiry we came to know that swami had been to orphanage where some few children stay and among them six of them are currently appearing for 10th class public examination in kotachal swami went all the way to bless them when he stopped his car in kolwant hall called those boys he blessed them and said go go i am coming to your place among the one by said swami i am very much frightened of examination i am very much afraid of examination i am feeling tension now swami said don't worry you go there i am coming <laughs> having gone there baba blessed everybody gave vibhuti and said one boy said that he is afraid of examination where is that boy call him that boy came and swami looked deep into his eyes and said boy i have come for you i have come for you why fear when i am here don't worry you will fare well in the examination and he blessed him he touched him the compassionate lord and return this i came to know this morning swami called me and said Anil Kumar, you were not here yesterday afternoon, right? No, Swami, I was very much here. No, 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 you are a bluff master. No, Swami, I was here. Few boys played violin for you, and you heard it, and you said, "Where are chanting again?" Ah, ah, yes, yes, he said. I didn't want to argue with him and say, "Swami, why do you say I have not come? I came and all." I don't want to do that. He was saying, "Swami, I came. Why do you say that I have not come? I prefer to put this way. Yesterday, violin program, Swami. You heard three songs and fourth song to be discontinued, which indirectly conveys I was very much there." <laughs> Because I can't say, "Son, you are wrong." I don't want to put it like. Put it nicely. Say that you were there in an indirect way. And the, ah, yes, 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 yes. The music program, but one fellow has not played well. Therefore, I stopped him at that point. Then I thought his mood is fine. Sonny, <laughs> it seems yesterday you went to our village and blessed that boy. Special blessings to one of those boys. Swami said yes. Among six of them, one boy was shivering, full of tension. So I went for him all the way and blessed him. Swami, how compassionate you are! Oh, don't you know? This morning also I stopped that car and inquired him. Know that he has done very well in the examination. that's what baba said baba is our strength baba is our hope baba instills courage in every one of us to face the challenges of life tests and turbulent waves 
in the ocean of life. May Bhagwan bless you. Sai Ram. Thank you very much.